hello followers uh, in today's video we're gonna see how to fly the ILS for the airsoft CRJ 900 and before I get started please show your support to this channel by subscribing liking and sharing from startup to shutdown is all about flying with simulators Currently I'm flying the FMS uh, which is taking me to the initial approach uh, fix Zulu Echo mic as you can see here on the radio tuning page uh, you can see here on nav 1 my ILS uh, frequency 110.30 which is already set and for the final course uh, normally it's selected automatically by the FMS uh, however I'll check that later are about uh, 20 miles from the initial approach fix so I start reducing my speed and configure my aircraft for the approach I set my uh, speed bug to 200 knots and remember we use uh, this uh, speed knob uh, just uh, for reference uh, we don't have the auto throttle in this airplane my speed bug is set to 200 then I move my thrust levers uh, back uh, to reduce uh, my speed the magenta speed trend vector showing the deceleration at 200 knots uh, I set uh, my flaps to 1 then I set my speed bug to 190 then I slow down to 190 at 190 I select the flaps to 8 then I set my speed bug to 180 then I let my airplane to slow down to 180 and remember we always control our speed manually now the flaps go to 20 then I set my speed bug to 170 then I adjust my thrust levers as necessary to maintain 170 now the FMS is about to re-sequence to the next leg which is the intercept leg from Zulu Echo Mike to the initial approach fix and now the autopilot is steering the airplane to the intercept course to the final as soon as we establish on the intercept course uh, I synchronize the heading then I select heading mode then I change my nav source from FMS to nav 1 even though the final course is selected automatically but I always check to make sure that it's selected properly which it is I got both the localizer and glide slope in view I select approach mode localizer and glide slope are armed glide slope alive gear down I select the flaps 30 then I set my speed bug to 160 then I maintain my speed to 160 lock one capture glide slope capture flaps go to full then I set my approach speed bug which is for instance 142 I adjust my thrust smoothly to maintain my approach speed I synchronize my heading with the final course then I set my missed approach altitude my parameters are stabilized I'm about to reach minimum continue I disconnect the autopilot and that's all for the today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.